Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy, and thanks for joining me for devotions today. We're continuing with our theme of peace at Christmas, and today we're talking about peace reigning in us. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 is the verse I want to read for us. The Bible says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I love Christmas time and I love the Christmas carols. And one of my favorite Christmas carols is Silent Night, Holy Night. I don't know what it is about that song, but it just brings a sense of peace to me. I was reading this week about the origin of that song, and I want to read this to you. It's really cool. A young priest named Joseph Moore took the long way home one winter night in 1816, less than a year after the ravages of the Napoleonic Wars. As Moeller looked out across the scene, he was struck with a profound sense of peace. Snow blanketed a small village in the Alps. Candlelight glowed from cottage windows. Smoke trailed skyward from cozy hearths within. Overhead, countless stars twinkled with radiance. When he got home, Moore uh, wrote the lyrics to what we now know as Silent Night. Two years later, Moore asked a friend and a choir director, Franz Gruber, not to be confused with Hans Gruber, although both of them are have to do with Christmas. And if you are a serious Christmas movie buff, you'll know who Hans Gruber was and, and the Nakatomi Plaza, but that's not who we're talking about here. Franz Gruber, uh, and he asked him to write a melody for guitar. And on Christmas Eve 1818 in Obendorf, Austria, the two performed Stille Nacht, Heilig Nacht as an evening mass. The carol started simply captivated listeners. Traveling folk singers began to spread the song and eventually it crossed continents and languages. In 1914, soldiers during World War I came out of their trenches and crossed the battle lines to sing Silent Night together in French, German, and English in a profound evening of peace. You know, we know everything wasn't all peaceful that first Christmas night. I mean, you've got this young couple who's searching for lodging. They've been, they've had this grueling trip that they've had to be on and was forced on them by a foreign government. There's pain and exhaustion of labor and childbirth. There's the terror of these angels showing up in the middle of a field, freaking these shepherds out. And the, But even in the midst of all that, there had to be this sense at times of profound silence, especially when Jesus was born and Mary was holding him there in that, that stable of just knowing that everything is going to be okay. And even in the midst of our troubles and problems and all of the things that we're dealing with in our world today, we can still have that sense of peace. Peace can reign in our hearts and in our lives. And sometimes it's it's the dark and that, that the darkness and silence that we're most aware that the Prince of Peace rules. So in the problems of this season and in our world today, allow the Prince of Peace to rule in your heart and in your life. Until tomorrow, I hope you get in God's word to see what he has for you. God bless you and have a great day.